Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and I'm very excited to make this video to show you the brand new updates to the TrendSpider mobile companion app that we've just released today. This is the culmination of a great deal of work and listening to a lot of customer feedback, so I hope that you find it useful, and keep in mind, it's just a start, there's a lot more to come after this. So let's dive right in. The first thing you're gonna notice is that we've rearranged the interface a little bit. We've moved some of the chart controls to the top of the screen, and we've added some new chart controls. I'm gonna start with the new, new chart control button, and you can see that at the very top of the chart on the right side, next to this maximize button, it looks like this little two switches stacked on top of each other. When I click on that, it opens a new menu at the bottom of my screen called chart controls. And in this menu, you'll find a number of features that are found on the web platform that you can now access on mobile. These start with some pretty basic things like adding period separation lines that show you when each trading session starts and stops. You can also enable or disable pre and post market data, right? So if you wanna see the after hours or the morning session, you can turn that on with this switch here. If you have trend lines or uh, horizontal levels drawn on the chart, you could enable highlight breakouts to highlight when price has violated or broken through those levels for you. You can control the chart scale by default, it's linear, but you can switch it to a logarithmic scale by just pushing this button here. You can also access some of TrendSpider's automated analysis capabilities here. We have automated Fibonacci's on mobile now, and you can also use TrendSpider automated trend lines on mobile as well. Those two options are something we're very excited to bring to mobile and use your imagination because it's a sign of a lot of things that are to come. Next, in the chart control section, you can bring a lot of TrendSpider's alternative data in. So if you wanna highlight analyst recommendations on the chart, you can do that. You can also add splits, dividends, earnings dates, and short volume from FINRA to the charts if you would like to. So this new chart control area is designed to give you a quick and easy way to access all of these options in one place. We do plan, as I've alluded to, to add a lot more to it, so stay tuned. Next thing you're gonna notice on TrendSpider Mobile is we've added, or we've changed the label on the watch list button in the middle of the screen, right? So you can see there's alerts and there's watch lists, but now it says watch list and scans. That's because we've brought scanning to mobile. So I'm gonna show you that and it's as exciting as it sounds. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna just select another watch list. But instead of choosing a watch list, you're gonna swipe over to the right and you're gonna choose scanner. This will bring any scanners that you've saved in your TrendSpider account up in this list, as well as any scanners that have been shared with you that you've accepted or anything that you are subscribed to from another user. So I can just grab one of these and you will see that when I select it, it instantaneously searches for stocks that fit those criteria. Now I'm on my phone and I'm using a scanner that I created on a computer. So I might not be sure exactly what the criteria is. That's what this little info button at the top right of the watch list window is for. It's, you can click on it and I'll show you the exact conditions that this particular scanner is looking for. So it's very handy. If I need to refresh the scanner, I just push the little refresh button. And if I wanna switch to another scanner, I can easily do that as well. And the system will do that and pull it up in the bottom of my screen. So that's something we're really pumped about because we don't think there's a lot of platforms that allow you to scan on mobile. We're very proud of the way that we've implemented this and we hope that you find it useful. There's one other thing that I wanna show you before I wrap up here, and that's some changes we've made to the full screen view. Because if you're like me, you like to have a lot of chart on your screen, right? You don't like to have a lot of watch lists and controls. You wanna see as much of the chart as you can. And the full screen mode lets you do that. But the problem with the full screen mode is in order to change the watch list that you would flip through, you would have to zoom back out to the split screen mode, select a new watch list, and then go back into full screen. The same thing if with chart controls, you would have to uh, close the full screen view to customize the chart. So we've made some changes here that we hope make your experience in a full screen view more enjoyable. The first thing you'll notice is the chart controls are now accessible from the full screen view at the very top, as is the chart type and the time frame. At the bottom, you'll notice that we've added a watch list selector, and this lets you change the selected watch list and or scanner that you're browsing through. And this is relevant because whichever is selected as the watch list or scanner is where the next and previous symbols will come from that you can easily flip through 
using the little right-left control at the bottom of the full screen view. So I hope you found this update useful. I hope you find this exciting as we do because we're really pumped about it. We've put a ton of work into bringing this one to you. And just stay tuned because there's a lot more to come. Thanks and take care. Bye-bye.